Hi there, Linda Goodall here. In this short little video, I'll show you how to create cool spiral effects like these in Hatch. Now you might be thinking, well shoot, don't you just use the ripple tool and change the stitch effect? Well, no, it's not quite that easy. And I'll show you how. But first, let's take a look at these. This one uses the satin effect. This one uses this motif from the single motifs library. This one uses the stem stitch. And this one with the chain stitch on it uses a chain stitch that I created in a library that I made called Crazy Quilt. Now, you can probably get this library, well, you can get a partial part of this library, and I'm pretty sure it has the chain stitch in it, from the Hatch blog site. So just go look for Victorian Crazy Patch Quilt, and I wrote a blog, and it has some free downloads, and I'm pretty sure that I included the chain stitch in there because I use the chain stitch a lot. So now let's see how to make the spiral. So we'll go to a new document. I'll draw a circle. And we need to change this to a fill. And we'll put a ripple on it. There's our ripple stitch, and it's a perfectly beautiful spiral. But how can I change the stitches on there? Well, if I go to the stitching tab, you can see there really aren't any options to change it to a motif or a satin or anything like that. And if I go back to the fill tab, if I click motif here, it just fills my shape with a motif. It doesn't apply it to the line. So let's see what we need to do. First of all, I need to figure out what kind of spacing, because this is really too tight to put most motifs on or a satin on. So I need to think about what I'm going to do ahead of time, and we'll just do six for right now. So there's my spiral, and now what I have here is a template for drawing an open path or an open shape, as they're called in, in a Hatch. And then I can apply any line effect that I want to on it. So let's talk about this for a minute. When we create effects like this, we really want them to start in the center and spiral outward. And what we want it to do is to push the fabric towards the hoop. The fabric will push in the direction that we're stitching in. Now, if we work from the outside in, we can get what I call the Madonna effect. And I'm talking about Madonna back when she was in her material girl days, and she wore those pointy little outfits. So what's going to happen here is the stitches are going to push and push and push, and it's going to mound up here with a little pointy effect in the middle, and we don't want that. Hatch doesn't always um, start where you start drawing because it, it has this really cool effect that does closest point, so you may have to go in afterwards and make sure that, yes, it is indeed working from the center out. So let's start. Now I need to trace this. And you might think, oh, tracing all those curves? Are you crazy? That's going to be hard. Actually, no, it's not. In Hatch, all we need to do is we're going to select the Digitize Open Shape. And I'm going to start with a left click. So I just left click there. And now all I need to do is right click at the 9 o'clock. Oops, I, I think I started backwards. So left click, right click, 9 o'clock. 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So I'm just right clicking at those points. I don't have to put a lot of nodes on here. In fact, you want the fewest number of nodes possible because that will make for smoother stitch effects and makes it easier to adjust when you don't have a bazillion nodes to move around. And we'll left click there or right click there and then left click. And there's our line. Is it perfect? No, but it's close enough. And if I wanted to be really anal about it, I could go to reshape and uh, do some adjusting, but we're not going to do that. So I'm going to select my original spiral, my ripple fill, and I'm going to right click and hide that. And there's my shape. And because it's a line, I now have access to all the outline opportunities that 
I can put on there. So I can do all sorts of different things. And that's how you make a spiral. I'm going to go and put that chain stitch on there because I really like the chain stitch. So crazy quilt, chain stitch. And there we go. So to see where Hatch actually started and ended, I'm going to go to True View, turn it off. I'm just actually going to press T. I'm just showing you where True View is. And press H. And you can see that there is a red plus sign, so that indicates that's where it's coming out. And we're all good to go. Press Escape, press T again, there's our shape. Wasn't that easy? So I hope you can see how you can use Hatch in creative ways, even though it won't create it instantly for you. There are ways to use Hatch to get really cool stitch effects. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please comment, and please come back. Bye.